This is part two of a tutorial on how to make a sports car. In this part, I'll show you how to make the top of the car. Change the view from perspective to orthogonal. Change the view to the right view. Click the plus to open up the properties panel. Scroll down and tick background images. Click the black triangle to open up the panel. Click add image. Scroll down and click open. Go to the folder where you have your car drawing, select it and open. Drag to close the properties panel and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Go into edit mode. Press X on the keyboard and delete all the vertices. I'm going to give the mesh a more meaningful name. Car top. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan shift middle mouse button. Hold down the control key and left click to create the first vertex. Press E to extrude and start tracing around the car. I'm going to take four vertices to get to the first window. Where there's a strut, I'm going to put two vertices in fairly close succession. E to extrude and E again. Carry on tracing around the car. Now there's a strut, two in close succession, two in close succession, two again, match with the one above, two. Now I'm going to make my way back fairly straightish. Pairing up with the vertices above. And finally, Shift Select and F to make edge. Select and press B for B Select and select all the pairs of vertices. Mesh, Edges, Bridge to Edge Loops is a quick way of putting in the vertical edges. Press A twice to select all and F to fill in all the faces and change the shading to wireframe. Scroll down and select the knife tool. Hover over the vertex. Click. Hover over the front but one edge just below the vertex and click. Press the spacebar to confirm. Knife tool. Hover over the front edge. About halfway, click, hover over the back edge, click, spacebar to confirm. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, select the vertex, turn the 3D manipulator widget off, hold down shift and select the other vertex. I'm going to do a vertex slide, which is shift and V, and slide those up. Select, shift select, Shift and V and vertex slide those down. Select, Shift and V up. Select, Shift and V down. Pan, Shift and middle mouse button. Select, Shift, select, Shift and V and down. Select, Shift and V and down. Press G to grab and fine-tune the position of the vertices. Hold down Shift, G to grab, and move those over. I'm going to jump ahead to where I've fine-tuned the position of all the vertices. I've got one more cut I want to make. Press A on the keyboard twice to select all. Select the Knife tool, hover over the first vertex, click, Hover over the final vertex, click, press the space bar to confirm. Change the view to the front view. Turn the 3D manipulator widget on. Use the tip of the red arrow to move the selection to the side. Use the tip of the blue arrow to move the selection up. Pan, shift and middle mouse button. Tip of blue arrow to move the selection up. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Tip of the red arrow. To move the selection to the start of the top of the car, press E to extrude and extrude the width of the top of the car. Change the shading to solid. 
drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, go into face select mode, select a bottom face, press C for C select and select all the bottom faces, press escape to get out of C select, press X and delete all the bottom faces. Now we have just a shell for the top of the car. Go into vertex select mode, select the vertex, mesh, snap, cursor to selected, and change the pivot point to the cursor. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, and click the limit selection to visible button so that we don't limit the selection to visible. Press B and select all the side vertices. Press R to rotate, Y for the Y axis, and rotate. 35 and enter. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, select the vertex, mesh, snap, cursor to select it, rotate the view, press B for B select and select the side vertices, press R to rotate, Y for the Y axis, minus 35 and enter. Go into edge select mode, select the front edge, B for B select, select all the central edges, click subdivide once, twice, three times. I'm going to shape the roof, so I'm going to add some loop cuts, click loop cut and slide, click, slide, zero, enter, loop cut and slide, click, slide, zero, enter. Go into vertex select mode, select the middle vertex, Set the pivot point back to the median point. Enable proportional editing. Change the view to the front view. Press G to grab followed by Z for the Z direction and move the vertex up. Use the mouse wheel to increase the region of proportional editing. And I'm going to enter a value 0 0.06, enter. Change the view to the top view. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Press A twice to select all, R to rotate 90 and enter. Pan, shift the middle mouse button. Use the tip of the red arrow to move the selection forwards. Move the tip of the green arrow to move the selection down. Select the middle vertex, G to grab, X for the X direction and move it forward. Use the mouse wheel to increase the region of proportional editing. And I'm going to enter a value point. 2, 5 and enter. Go into object mode and set the shading to smooth. Object transform origin to geometry. Object snap cursor to center. Object snap selection to cursor. I'm dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I left the body of the car pointing in the positive Y direction to do the same for the top. It's R to rotate, Z for the Z axis, 90 and enter. Object apply rotation and save the finished top. To see how to put the top and the body of the car together and to add some wheels, go to part 3 of the tutorial.